It's the end of November and I'm going to take a peek inside the hive to see how the bees are doing. We had extremely cold weather here about a week ago. Temperatures dropped down to 7 degrees above zero. So some of the coldest nights ever recorded here in Milwaukee. So I'm not sure if my bees were able to cluster and survive. We're going to take a look and see what's going on inside the hive. I've removed the uh, top honey super and you can see when you look right here, there's a nice group of bees sitting here up on top. Uh, they all look like they're nice, well clustered together. So they have definitely survived. We're gonna put the, uh, put the hive back on and put them inside there. I can see looking at the, at the frames of honey, there's quite a bit of honey in those frames. See them, they're still capped lots of honey that's great that means the bees have food to eat we have our own food patties that we are giving them to so we're gonna put it back down and uh, let them keep feeding so nearly December and they're still doing okay so that's a good sign let's put this cover back on it's only 42 degrees out here so we don't want them to get cold here's our beehive now with the tar paper around it there's two reasons for this. The tar paper is black and it absorbs some of the sun's rays later here in the uh, winter and keeps it a little bit warmer than the white would be, which is ideal in the summer. And then we've removed the little wine cork from here to keep this vent hole open so the bees can uh, have some airflow through the hive, both from the top here and then that little hole on the bottom we also put that little hardware cloth which is a mouse guard on the bottom you can see there's one dead bee there the uh the healthy bees will push the dead ones outside to free up uh just to move them out of the uh out of the hive and free up some space so that's winter time in the beehive hopefully they'll make it <laughs> 